So I just now sat down to uh, start editing today's video. And, you know, I was looking through footage. And uh, I thought about not even posting this video. Uh, the hunting, honestly, it sucked. Um, I only had one group of teal come in when the cameras were on and I whiffed three times. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and I beat myself up over that <laughs> so bad because I never got the redemption shot. It's a little bit embarrassing whenever you miss three shots. Boom, boom, boom. When the birds are like 10 feet from you, which is probably why I missed them because they were 10 feet from me. You want to be able to put on display good shooting, good hunting and stuff, but in reality, that's not always how it goes. And whenever I created this page, I made a promise to myself that I would always keep it real. I made a promise to myself that no matter how good or how bad the hunt was, y'all were going to be able to see what happened. And so I got to fulfill that promise to myself and I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to put it together for y'all uh, the way that it happened and just let y'all see it. I got nothing to be ashamed of. You know, it's like not every hunt is good and we sometimes we have off days. So yeah i just wanted to tell y'all that so don't expect us to smash the ducks in this episode but i did put something together for y'all at the end to make sure that y'all got at least some good content we did a catch clean and cook for y'all so a few birds that we did kill um we went ahead and cooked them up for y'all and i'm excited to share it with y'all i hope y'all enjoy it What's up y'all, it's Nate. Welcome back to Fall and Tide TV. I'm here just getting stuff ready for tomorrow. Me and Evan are going back to where we killed those 10 teal at uh, a few days ago. The weather is not looking good at all. The weather is thunderstorms in the morning. Um, it's not getting any better as the day goes on, but we're gonna show up. He thinks we're gonna kill a limit of teal pretty early in the morning, so that's pretty exciting of course. Uh, to me, that's worth getting up in the morning and going. I don't know. I'll go sit in the rain. Just hope the lightning's not too bad, you know? I really don't like lightning. What's cool about it is we don't have to go very far. We're taking out the kayaks. So we don't have to worry about rough waters or anything like that. Everything is small water. It's, it's, we're not going out in any lakes or anything like that. So I feel pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So join us tomorrow as we go on this adventure. No telling where it's gonna take us or what's gonna happen, but uh, it's always an adventure here. It's always an adventure, so I don't expect anything less. But, wish us luck. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hope we kill some birds tomorrow. Well, we made it to the blind this morning. Uh, somebody actually was set up where we were trying to set up but i think we found what may end up being a better spot uh we know that this is a flyaway right here and the way is it the way it is it's kind of like a it's kind of like a chute right here like I, I don't know it's like a funnel in the marsh and then it opens up back here to my back right into like this little shallow pocket and uh the wind is blowing like straight like this and so I feel like them teal are like, going to want to be back in this little pocket right here, but they're probably going to come right up to shoot in order to get there, and our decoys are going to be right there to intercept them. So hopefully it works out good. We might end up shooting birds in the pocket that come up over these little trees that they got right here and come straight in, or they're going to come straight up this chute, and uh, we'll be able to shoot them like that. I think it's a pretty good setup. It's just cracking daylight here this morning. Got about five minutes till shooting light. Uh, Evan had to go run to his other spot where those guys are set up and grab his mojo pole. <laughs> That's how remote this little spot is that we're hunting. Is that he's able to leave his mojo pole there for a week. But uh, yeah, this morning it's kind of a it's kind of a race against time, if you will, because at like nine o'clock, literally on the dot, there's thunderstorms coming, like legit thunderstorms. So we're gonna try our best to be done before nine o'clock. Hopefully we don't have to stay in the thunderstorms. I think we're just gonna hunt until that stuff gets close. And once it gets close, we'll uh, we'll pack up and go ahead and head on in. But I'm excited. We're about to be able to shoot. Look how pretty that skyline is behind me. Man. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, I made a boo-boo. 
I was uh I tried to film Evan shoot the first bird in the morning, but uh I accidentally hit the record button twice. So he's got one down right back over there, but I didn't get it on camera. We're about to flip on the GoPro though now, so let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I suck so bad, bro. No. I don't know how I missed them birds, dude. Hey, is that one still alive right there? Uh, a little bit. Oh my god. That was terrible, bro. Want me to shoot him? He's right there. Grab that bird and come. Yeah, I got him. I'm the worst hunter. I'm the worst cameraman. Everything today. Oh my God. So he's, so I get on this camera bright and early this morning and I tell Evan, hey, I'm gonna just film you because the GoPro don't have enough light for me to record. He shoots a duck. I didn't have it recording. I don't know how that happened, but it didn't happen. It wasn't recording. What? Got a few teal flying right now. But anyways, then right after that, oh look, I see him. That's four teal. You're going by your buddies. Damn. Oh, they whiffed. Oh, they killed one. They killed one. So then, these teal come, they do it right, right in my face. Yep, they're coming around. They're coming around? All right, I'm about to have to shoot. Keep going. They're going right by your boys, huh? Oh, they got another. Oh, did they get both? Oh, they, oh, they got both. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's what we were supposed to set up at this morning. Yeah, that's why you don't. Let people see where you're going at all. Yeah. So then after these birds come right up the gut, I mean, I mean they do it right. They're right in my face. Six yards. I whiff all three shots. He pulls one. And then I'm messing around with my GoPro. One lonely teal just comes fly right in front. He rolls it. It falls in the rosos. I'm just standing around doing nothing. I didn't get it on film either. So Needless to say, I'm not having the best day behind the camera, and I'm also not having the best day behind the gun, because the only time I did shot, I missed all three shots. <sighs> you win some, you lose some. I'm losing so far. No, I got it. You did. Oh, I got you now, bro. He's no longer speaking. They're going by your boys, huh? <laughs> All right, in the decoy. Yeah. Oh, they, they quadrupled. They just cut four. If we'd have got the spot that we wanted this morning, we'd have had some birds. Uh, them guys over there, they got a little mess of birds down. They just pulled four out of a flock uh, that went in on a big high flying flock. Uh, it's kind of frustrating, you know, but that's what you deal with whenever you hunt public land. You know, you can wake up in the morning and somebody else could be there. It's just the reality of it. Uh, it that seems to be the the primary location where the birds uh, where the birds want to be. So we're a little bit outside of where the birds want to be. But I mean, we got a couple of birds down. Shot a couple of gallinus. I don't know. Might cook something up for y'all later. Way across there. You see where that wind did my shot? Yeah. I didn't even get close, huh? Uh, I don't even see him. Maybe I killed him.
think you got him. Yeah, I got it. I think I got him now. <laughs> that's one that's one expensive gallon right there, bro. Big old Congo. Yeah, buddy. Go Congo. Y'all almost stepped right on top of that water moccasin. But yeah, it's the rain is starting to rain is starting to get here now. So I'm gonna pack all of this stuff and we're gonna try to beat the rain out of here. To be honest with y'all, I actually shot the water moccasin because I was thinking about eating the thing. And then I, I Google water moccasin recipe and everybody on Google said, don't eat a water moccasin. I don't know why. I'm going to do some research later. I'll let y'all know. But everything said, don't eat a water moccasin. Because um, I've eaten rattlesnake before. Rattlesnake is great. I figured, you know, a cotton mouth would be just as good. But <laughs> I, don't, I, don't guess, I don't guess it's just as good. So I don't know. I just threw it. I feel bad for killing it. I mean, it wasn't hurting nobody out here. But... Yeah, he's gonna, gonna hurt you. Yeah, you do hunt here a lot, so maybe maybe we saved Evan a trip to the ER. I don't know. Well, it it kind of turned into a chicken shoot. I guess that's what you want to call it. Did get one teal in hand. He knocked down three. I think the Gators uh, claimed a couple of them. That's about the only thing we could think of. I mean, they were dead. Yeah, they, they were, were sitting dead. in the pond dead. But uh, yeah, the hunt wasn't so good. I didn't get a whole lot of footage for y'all as far as the hunt goes, so I guess I'm going to go home and just cook something. And that, that seems like a good way to round out this episode. I think I'll just go cook something for y'all. So I don't know what I'm cooking yet, but I'm going to cook up something. I might stew down these uh, these Gatlinu right here. I don't know. We'll figure it out whenever we get home. Just made it to the house. So I'm going to clean these birds real quick. And I'm actually gonna, I'm probably gonna just stew them up, I guess. I'm just gonna cook them down with some onions and stuff, make a little brown gravy. And uh, I'm just gonna eat them over rice. So I'm about to clean them right now. I guess I get this kayak out of the way. Apologize, the lighting under here kind of sucks. Now I'm turning on this light and see if I can make it a little bit more better. So this is what we ended up coming in with. Got, uh, got some Galanoos. One teal. These Galanoos eat pretty good. They really do. Um, I find them to be pretty dang good table fare. Of course the teal is as well. Everybody loves teal. But the guys in New aren't bad. They got a big old gizzard in them. We like to pull the gizzard out and eat them. Uh, they're real good just cooked down in a brown gravy. I think that's what I'm gonna do with them today. I'm not gonna do nothing fancy. Basically when it comes to the teal, what I usually do for the teal is I'm just cutting the breast meat out. Early season, especially. Late season, I, I will actually keep the skin on. But I'm gonna show y'all real quick. As you can see here, Early season, 
there is no fat on this meat. I mean, on this skin at all. I mean, that's just straight paper thin skin. Because what I like to do with ducks that are, you know, fatty from eating in the wintertime, is I like to render the fat and, and, and I like to, I like to cook the breast meat almost like you do a steak, but I like to cook it in the rendered, uh, the rendered fat. It's almost like you're frying it in baking grease and it's, it's amazing. That's how I love it. It's my favorite way to eat ducks. But today, since we're just browning the meat and uh, making like a, like a brown gravy, I'm just cutting the breast meat out, no skin, and I'm gonna cook it down like that. I don't find, I don't find with a teal, there's very much meat on the legs, so I usually don't keep the, the legs or anything on the teal. Now these guys are a little bit different. Um, you can get a lot of, you can get a lot of meat off of these uh, galanus here. I like the breast meat, the heart, the gizzard, and the legs off of these things. So you get a lot off of these. Coots are the same way. Although I find I like the galanus better than the coots. Some people would say otherwise, but nah. Coots, uh, coots aren't quite as good as galanu in my opinion. It's a lot more of a, look at the difference in color in this meat. I don't know if y'all can see. Look at the difference here in the color. That's a teal and this is a galanu. Look how almost like a white meat that is. It's such a mild meat. It's a bird that most people just pass up in the marsh. They just choose not to shoot it. Like, I don't know, I guess they don't think it tastes good, but they don't know what they're missing. I can't resist it. A Cajun boy like myself, I can't resist. So after you get after you get the breast meat out, I'm coming in here and getting this gizzard out of here. Everybody's got a different way of getting the uh, gizzard open. I've seen it done a few different ways. Look at the look at the legs that come off of these these birds. If they kick me off for showing y'all this then whatever, but look at the meat that comes off that leg of that gallon here. That's a good solid chunk of meat. Shoot, that's, that's just as big as the breast that comes off of them. So if you're eating gallon and you're wasting the leg meat, you know, you're wasting a good bit of, a good bit of meat. I'm gonna go ahead and go take me a shower, get cleaned up. I am absolutely filthy. Um, I might have to run in the store. I gotta make sure that I got all the ingredients to make this dish. I think I do. Um, but if not, might have to make a run to the store. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take me a shower and then we will continue with the dish. All right, y'all. So, the way we're gonna be doing this, galanu and teal, we're basically gonna make a stew. So I'm gonna start by putting the meat in a little bit of flour. I don't know if y'all can see it. Just got a little thing of flour here. I'm just gonna put the meat in here, just to coat it a little bit. And I'm gonna toss it in this. I got a little bit of oil in here. Yeah, that's the first step. All right, so you see that? Basically like just a little coating on it. And then throw it in here. See, just a little bit, a little bit of a little bit of flour on it. Everybody's got their own way of doing stuff. That's just the way I do it. If you want to know how your food is organic. <laughs> that's a BB, shotgun BB. All right, and while that's browning, I'm gonna chop up this onion and get ready to go in with all my seasonings. I'm just showing y'all what I do. I'm not, definitely ain't no chef, so. Don't take what I do as uh, as the only way, it's certainly not. Like most of this stuff, I learned on my own anyways, like just by doing, I don't, I don't, 
I didn't really have like a teacher, I guess, or a mentor when it comes to cooking at all. I watch videos and stuff sometimes. But most of the time, I'm just, you know, experimenting, trial and error. So, if y'all got any other ways to do this, you know, be sure to let me know. So, I'll be glad to try different things. If y'all got any suggestions on how y'all want me to try to cook something or, uh, you know, just let me know. I usually brown this for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Basically, after I brown the meat, I'll let y'all look at it real quick. So, after I brown the meat a little bit, I throw in my onions and all of my seasonings. I go in with the onions. Oh Lord, I'm making a mess. And then, take my seasonings, put that in there. And the next thing I do, I just take some beef broth and basically just pour it all in there. I put the lid on it on low heat. Probably about, on well my thing, it's, I usually put it on like one. Basically just let it simmer for, I don't know, a couple of hours, whatever it takes until that meat starts to fall off the bone. Once that happens, it's pretty much done. Really not much to it. After I let this cook down, I'm just gonna put it on some rice and we'll eat it over rice tonight. So yeah, a simple meal. You know, there's a, there's a lot of ways that you can make a duck stew. I don't know if I would exactly even call this a duck stew because to me, to make a stew the right way, you gotta have, you gotta have a roux for, for me. Now that's one way you can do it. That's like a Cajun style stew. Is you can make a roux, you know, you can do it. You can brown your meat in a pan over here. You can have your onions going here. You can have your roux going here and you can put it together and it'll be like a real thick, like dark gravy. It'll be uh, basically a Cajun style stew. And if I had more time today, I would have did that, but I will also cook them like this and, and, and I like it either way, so. And I also think this is a simple way for just somebody who do, you know, doesn't have a lot of experience, uh, you know, cooking duck. This is an easy way to do it without having to worry about a root. Because a root, you know, you can burn it if you really don't know what you're doing. Um, I think I'll do that next time. Well, it's been slow cooking for about an hour now. Um, I went ahead and added a little bit of flour to it just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. I want to give y'all an idea what it looks like. See, nice and thick. Still got some ways to go before it's uh, falling off the bone, but we're getting there. Well, it's been slow cooking for a couple hours now, so I'm gonna give it a little taste test. It's good. It's nice and thick. It's good. Probably needs a little bit of seasoning, a little bit more seasoning, but um, but yeah, the. the Texture's real good. You really can eat it whenever you want. I'm just gonna let it continue to cook down a little bit longer until it's nice and uh, nice and soft. All that meat starts to fall off the bone. It's, it's tender already, really. I mean, if I wanted to eat it now, I could. But I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Make me some rice, put it over some rice, and uh, that'll be my supper tonight. Turned out all right. All right, y'all. Well, I let it go for about another 30 minutes and uh, I was ready to eat. Mmm. Man, that's good. Such a simple meal. And for it to be so good, it's so worth it. Well, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this supper. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Um, I can't wait to get back out this weekend and chase after them teal one last time. Uh, it's been it's been a strange teal season, to say the least. High water, hurricanes, terrible weather. Uh, it's been work. 
But I'm glad that we were able to give y'all at least a couple of good hunts, uh, at least a couple of good episodes this season. Um, yeah, now I'll focus my sights on some squirrel hunting next month and then getting ready for big duck season, which I am so excited about. And I cannot wait to show y'all the adventures that lie ahead of us for big duck season. Um, I just know that we're going to make some incredible content come big duck season. I am so excited for that. But with that being said, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's episode on Fallen Tide TV. Until next time, I'll see y'all. Peace out.